What's up guys, Eddie from Golden Company here to talk to you about some uh, recent news that's been in the headlines lately, the last couple days, and uh, talk to you about my opinions on it. A couple days ago, Missouri police officers shot and killed a 17 or 18 year old African American teenager uh, who was unarmed. All reports say that he was unarmed, um, and the age is kind of up in the air, I've heard conflicting reports, but anyways... Supposedly, the police officer shot and shot and killed this kid, but he shot him about anywhere between six to ten times is what I'm seeing reports on. Now, what disturbs me about this story is two things. First, they shot and killed a kid that was, all by all accounts, unarmed. Everything that I'm reading is there's no indication this kid was had any kind of weapon at all. The part that's really disturbing me about this is after the shooting, the neighborhood came out, primarily African-American neighborhood, they came out in protest about the killing of this kid, which I understand that's a reasonable reaction to do that. You know, kid gets shot, you protest, the cops did something wrong, in this case they did, you know, and, it, and you come out and you protest and you show your support for this family for their loss, and you fight the police or the law enforcement agency to get this investigated and, you know, get a proper ruling on this for an unlawful shooting. But the second part that bothers me about this whole thing comes to when stuff like this happens. Like I said, you're going to get people to rally behind the family and show support for an unarmed teenager being shot. And it's somebody in their community, somebody who had, as far as I can tell, no gang affiliations or whatever, any of the reports. Everybody's saying this is a good kid. But what bothers me about this is not the support. It's when stuff like this happens, people don't necessarily support the family anymore. They're supporting just their anarchy mentality. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, these are people that are now looting stores and stealing stuff from stores. And the stores didn't have anything to do with the shooting. It wasn't like a racist moment from the store. A cop shot a, a young man in the streets and you're rioting and burning trash cans and throwing bottles at cops, but you're doing all this and basically destroying your own neighborhood. And when stuff like this happens, it takes away from your cause when you do this. As a society, we now take incidents like this and use them to basically just riot and destroy stuff. Like it, It's almost like People have no outlet for their anger, but it bothers me that even now as a society, as far as we've come, we still just destroy to make a point. And to me, you're not making a point, but destroying your neighborhood, your city, takes away from this family. You're not supporting this family in any way now in their loss. Show support for this family. Gather around and do fundraisers for funeral costs and be there to support them in court cases. It, it like I said, it just befuddles me to think that these people are selfish in this moment. Like they take advantage of, oh, well, we can riot right now because this kid got shot. So let's just riot and steal shit because I want to steal shit. There's no, oh, well, we're rioting to sh show support for this kid that was shot. No, you're, you're just being, you're rioting because you're a selfish asshole and taking advantage of the situation. It, it's just, it's terrible, and I'm not, it's hard for me to grasp the situation like that. My thoughts go out to the family of this murdered child, um, and I hope, Whatever justice comes, it comes swiftly and quickly. Um, but please, people, just calm down and take care of what needs to be taken care of. Stop throwing away all this stuff and burning your own city. Let me know what you guys think in a comment down below. Share this video. But as always, I love you guys, and uh, stay safe.